Decade Bird Publishing presents Star Wars Legacy Based on the comics by John Ostrander Number 12 Ghosts, Part 2 Joker Scow Leon Lar Stop! These are Jedi. We do not fight Jedi. It is so, but this is no Jedi. This stink beetle bears the mark of a pirate, like the ones who came to Ossus to tear weapons from the hands of our still warm dead. Both bear the weapons of Jedi, but scum runs with scum. Perhaps they are rogue Jedi, or scavengers. In either case, we are honor-bound to defend the legacy from such as them. Watch where you point that, slant head. You watch, abomination. Your kind has perished by my ampistaff before. I will not hesitate now. What are you? I wonder. Hello, Nairin. You know me. Forgotten me so soon? Shadow, we sensed you were in danger. Master Sazen. Nairin. Jedi Masters, welcome home. But no, danger lurks here. The Empire patrols Ossus and scans the temple for signs of life. Why have you returned? I was in the snows of Tuller, the place I thought I would call last home when I felt a calling in the Force. Master Nairin, what is this place, and what brings you and your warriors back to Ossus? We never left. How could I? I was Master Shaper on the Ossus project. Jedi Master Skywalker had a vision. To use Yuzhan Vorn Biotech to transform and restore ailing worlds, and to so transform the galaxy's perception of the Yuzhan Vorn. What was conceived as a dream quickly became a nightmare. The coral seeds I had shaped, the villips and biots so carefully tended, went rampant with unspeakable mutations. Soon, this plague affected beings from all the terraformed worlds. We struggled to understand why, but when the war broke out, Zonamra Seacoat fled deeper into the unknown regions. Myself and these warriors assigned to my safety, as well as many other Yuzhan Vorm, were stranded. The mutations should not have happened. As the Master Shaper, I dedicated myself to finding out what went wrong, and why. None of our preliminary experiments here on Ossus showed any of the later mutations. I wondered it if Yuneshel, goddess of he shapers, had abandoned me, or if the trickster, Yun Haller, was laughing at me. Then the Sith revealed themselves, so it was not the gods' doing. I remained on Ossus, determined to discover how they had sabotaged my life's work. If I could find the truth, we might still be able to discredit the Sith and end the war. Several days later, my data compiled, we arrived back at the temple and found that it had been destroyed. Our warriors and shapers were slain along with the Jedi. Cole, Jedi Master Skywalker, was among the Forlan. He was more than a good man. He was a hero. Like your ancestor, Luke Skywalker, Cole championed the integration of my people into the galaxy. Even after what the Yuzhan Vorm had done, we worked closely together on the Ossus project. I admired Cole, the eyes of Yun Neshul shone brightly upon him. Custom and ritual have always been important among the Yuzhan Vorm. My guards and I gave him a Jedi funeral and commended him to the force he served. With the flames, his body disappeared. Our coral craft is hidden beneath the temple. At need, we can flee. We have chosen, however, to remain. The Jedi championed us so the galaxy would accept the Yuzhan form. We could do no less to honor such as Cole Skywalker. We gathered what remained of the Jedi artifacts and brought them here. To protect the Jedi legacy. Master Nairin, the scruffy pirate your warriors attacked, is Cade Skywalker. Cade? Ah. I see it now. The shape of your father echoes in you. It is a joy to see you again, son of Cole. Yeah, sure. Party time. Your father was an honorable and respected warrior, young Skywalker. Being able to turn the Jedi legacy over to his son is more than I ever hoped. 
The artifacts could be turned over to any Jedi for caretaking, Master Shaper. They belong to no one of us. The Yuzhan Vorn tradition of honor differs from your Master Jedi. For us, Kate Skywalker is a symbol of Jedi honor. Cole Skywalker was your greatest warrior. His son should be the one to care for the Jedi legacy. I don't want it. Legacy? Tradition? I call it carking slavery. Guardians of peace and justice? Sure. Brave, honorable Jedi. Trying to police the carking galaxy that keeps turning on them. Blast your traditions. I'm not going to be a slave to them. I'm not going to be haunted by them. None of you can see the truth, even when it's got a fang grip on your nose. The Jedi's time is over and gone. And this is your wisdom, is it, Cade Skywalker? The Jedi holocrons are not about tradition. They are pathways to the lives, to the knowledge and wisdom of the Jedi of the past. It is not the Jedi who are haunted slaves, Apprentice. It is you. Listen, Batisa. If you want to sell this stuff, let me know. I've got some Jawa and Hut antiques buyers who would fight to the death over this junk. Just don't look to unload it on me. Is this how far the Jedi have fallen? Not the Jedi, Master Nairin. Just Cade. What are you doing, Cade? Thought I'd feel something. Some connection to him up here where he died. Nothing. I feel nothing. Really? I can feel your anger, Cade, and your hunger. For the Exatel Salona drug you hold in your hand. You can't feel anything because you cut yourself off from your feelings. Do you think that Death Stick will bring you greater understanding of life, greater connection to the Force? You abandon Shadow and myself on the wheel. Why? Why come to Ossus alone? What are you seeking? You came back to Ossus to die. Yeah, but the Whippet had other plans. Stupa Kuchu Jidai. What do you know about my life? I don't use the death sticks to connect better to the Force. I use them to forget the ache that is my life. To dull the voice of the Force. To dull the memory of my father. It's him you're angry with. Shut up, or I'll shut you up. You came here to die where your father died. Wrong! Then why? To find him, to confront him, to shut him up. I hear his voice over and over in my head nagging at me, but I never feel his presence. Not in my dreams, not in my visions. It's as if his spirit avoids me. Maybe, maybe if during that final battle, if I hadn't distracted him, if I'd been stronger, faster, better, he wouldn't have died. I felt much the same at first. If I had just moved more quickly, if I had just seen a split second further ahead. Finally, I made peace with myself and accepted that it was the will of the Force. We must take what is given. Kark, you sound just like him. I don't accept it. I don't care if that's the Jedi way. I don't take what is given. I take what I want. I make my own way, and I don't ask anyone's permission. So you have replaced Coruscant as the center of the galaxy? Everything revolves around you, does it, Cade? Your insecurity, your selfishness, your intense anger with everything, the situation, the Sith, your father, me. That anger made you call on the dark side when you healed me. How dare I die on you? It is a side of your fear. Don't die. Don't leave me alone. As your father did. That fear made you angrier with your father than with me. He did die, and there was nothing you could do about it. You were left with your fears, fear of failure, fear of death, fear of your own anger. Shut your maw! 
I saved the princess, and it wasn't like that. She saved me, and I owed her. That simple. I don't like owing anyone, so I paid her back. If you owe, you are owned. You can't be free. So you keep taking death sticks from Rav, which keeps you broke and owing Rav. How does that keep you free? Do you even hear your lies anymore, or do you deceive yourself most? You saved Princess Marisaya to satisfy your own wants and desires. For your own selfish, willful way of seeing the world. It was done in anger, out of fear. Would it have been better if I let her die? If I let you die? If such was the will of the Force, yes. With each life you saved, you imposed your own will on the Force. That is the Dark Side way. You could have asked me or Shadow or even the Imperial Knights to help you save the Princess, to guide you, to work with you in the Light Side, but your ego, your fear, your anger demanded you do it yourself. Alone, a Jedi is strong, but together we are stronger. This new breed of Sith see that and try to imitate it. You, however, insist on being alone. Your fear, your anger demands it and makes you weak. You think so little of me, Master? No. Don't you think I grieved, Cade? Cole was my master when I was an apprentice and he was my friend when I became a knight. His loss was more bitter to me than the loss of my arm. I know, however, and accept that Cole's sacrifice was selfless. It saved you, me, Shadow, and the younglings. Cole knew what he was doing. The odds against us were insurmountable. He knew he could only hold off the Sith for a time, not defeat them. Living, his own survival was not the point. Buying time for us was. The hard truth is that nothing you could have done would have changed that. Except getting yourself and the ones Cole committed to your protection killed. And that would have made your father's sacrifice meaningless. It's all very hard to accept, Cade. It was hard for me. We both have to be worthy of your father's sacrifice. You have a nasty way with the truth, Master. Always did, even when it hurt. This time, it hurt a lot. I think you may be ready for the meditation of emptiness, Cade. I can help you focus the meditation. To learn, to feel again, you must first achieve an emptiness within yourself. Your anger is like a violent storm, Cade. Your emotions swirl, churning around inside you. If you find a place of peace within that anger, an eye in the storm, you must center yourself within that calm eye, in the light. You think you cannot know peace, but the possibility of peace is all around you. If a thought or memory intrudes on your meditation, it must be like the shadow of a cloud passing across a moon. Let it go. Was there any time, any moment you can recall, when you were empty of all anger, attachment, hope, fear, love, and hate? Yeah. When I awoke alone above Ossus after my fighter exploded. In that vastness around me, there was nothing. No anger, no fear, no hate, no love, no attachment. I surrendered myself, wondering what it would be like to become one with the Force. Never got to find out, because then he arrived. Rav and his crew of cutthroats. Sleem, oh Jedi, let's find out how well you breathe vacuum. Not Jedi, Captain Rav, sir. Look, no lightsaber. Why stretch your neck out for the likes of this one? He's no blood to you, Sin. 
and it was a Jedi that killed your da. He might be a scavenger brother to us, Captain. Off some other ship. Could be he's already been dirt side on Ossus. Could be he knows a way around them Jedi traps. We toss him out, we never find out what he knows. That's the way of it, Captain. My former boss brought us in a little too early for the pickings. Imperial shot us down. We traded with the Jedi before and knew where they put their booby traps. But the maps are in my head. Kill me and that map is gone. Ineki, I'm willing to wait and see. Chesko, Miyobuki, if there's no plunder, or if any one of us dies in the traps, you can accompany your brother out the airlock. Jiraiya Sin, you be? Cade, why'd you help me? You're a cast off like me. Knew you for a brother the moment I saw you. No matter what else you are, and it's always good to have someone watching your back. Fair enough? Fair enough. Brother? Asus. Listen up, you Murglax. Time to heave off this Doompa. An imp ship's been detected entering the quadrant. So move quick quick or get left. Basque Cave? The captain doesn't get about these things. Nothing on him, Weirmo. Jedi are born with nothing. They die with nothing. Ha! Ah, all the mighty Jedi here are dead. Where is their ally, the Force, now? Hosk Trailus? Listen to me this time, Cade. This is not to remind you of your legacy or of your destiny, or of what you may owe the Jedi. This is about one Jedi, Hosk Trailis, who you surrendered to the enemy. The Sith torture him in the temple on Coruscant. That's your doing, Cade. This is about your responsibility for what you yourself have done. This lies on you, and it's up to you to make it right. Early next morning, I don't understand. Your training is not done. Why do you have to leave? What did you see in that meditation? There's a wrong that needs to be made right. I can't explain myself. You can't ask. Nay, Rin, we both know I'm not the right caretaker for the legacy. Let Krunk do it. Among the Jedi, he is like both War Master and High Priest, and a far better choice than me. If that is your wish, Cade Skywalker. This item, however, must be given to your care. I recovered this from where it fell after the battle. By strange chance, both Sith and Scavengers missed it. Now it comes to you. The crystal within was charred from the intensity of the battle. I added a lambent crystal of my own shaping. Your father's lightsaber. Yeah, my father's lightsaber. I too have a gift for you. This is R2-D2. As it happens, he has served your family a long, long time. He has been updated to current specs. You do need a mechanic, don't you? I guess. Well, come on, chips for brains. Let's get to the ship. Yeah? Well, the only piece of junk I see around here is you. Master Kronk? Cade and I were apprentices together. Sometimes, one apprentice will know another better than his own master does. The attack on Ossus didn't change Cade. He was always impatient and testing boundaries. If Cade hadn't been a Skywalker, he would have been asked to leave. I've been present at two of Cade's healings. Cade touched the dark side to do it. More than that, he wasn't simply open to the Force. He twisted it to his will. That is something a Sith does. Why then do you agree to aid Master Sazen in training Cade? My own feelings. 
my own perspective are not infallible. I deeply respect Master Sazen. His vision may be the true one. And Cade is my friend. If he ever goes completely over to the dark side, I will end him. I know those are the coordinates for Coruscant. Yeah, I'm sure. Plot them in and don't give me any lip. I'm a bounty hunter. I caught a Jedi and turned him in. I couldn't let him go. He knew I was a Jedi. Would have told others. Well, the truth is, turns out, they found out anyway. The Jedi I snagged is imprisoned on Coruscant, and I'm going to get him out. Make things right. I don't care Sith spit about the galaxy or the Jedi. Just this one. If saving him means invading the Sith temple, so be it. No one dies for me. Never again.